It is time for business news with Richard Southern. Inflation continues to hit Canadians hard, particularly in the grocery store, Richard. Hey, Erica, good to see you. Yeah, food prices absolutely surging again. We got the uh, Canadian September inflation report in this morning. The headline number actually a little bit better than expected. Inflation rising 6.9% year on year down from 7% in August. But the real story is what's going on in the grocery store. Food prices last month surged the most since 1981. Look at what's costing us more. Cereal actually leading the way. It's almost 18% more expensive than it was a year ago. Coffee and tea, 16.4% more dear. Fresh fruit, 12.7% more expensive. Fresh veggies up 11.8%. Meat, 7.6% more expensive. The list goes on and on. Gasoline prices, of course, as well factoring into all of this. Gasoline in the month rose 13% year on year. You know, the big takeaway from all of this is that the Bank of Canada is very likely to raise interest rates again next week. Erica, most economists are looking for another three quarters of 1% increase. That means next week your variable rate mortgages could go up again and any loan tied to a prime lending rate. None of this very good news for overstretched consumers. Right. And I guess for this next story, it's not really happening at a good time. Netflix getting ready to crack down on password sharing. Yeah, they used to be okay. In fact, you know, the company used to encourage this, actually, Erica. Are you sharing passwords with anyone? I am not, no. Yeah, okay, Erica. She's got a lot of money to spend on <laughs> passwords. A lot, <laughs> a lot of sure. people share them, though, Erica. They're not as flush with Netflix money as you are. But Netflix, they're cracking down on this now. And it was revealed uh, last night uh, during their earnings call that starting early next year, so maybe like in January or February, they're going to start charging you more if you do share passwords. We don't know how much that fee will be in Canada. Analysts think it could be in the range of 4 to $5, but the company's looking to rein all that in, make some extra money because competition in the streaming space is so fierce now with Disney doing so well. Netflix stock today was up 13%. The company actually posted a very strong earnings report last night, but they're looking to fatten that bottom line even more, Erica. All right, and finally, talk about a blast from the past. An original iPhone has sold for some pretty big money. Oh, if only we had the foresight to stash one away in the sock drawer, Erica. <laughs> this original uh, iPhone 1 that went on sale in June 2007 sold for $39,000 at auction. Wow. That's 50 times the original price. It was only on sale for like 600 bucks back in June of 2007. Uh, the auction house, though, uh, said, described it uh, accurately, I think, as, quote, one of the most important and ubiquitous inventions of our lifetime. So clearly there were some tech collectors looking to get a hold of that factory sealed iPhone 1 and pay 39k for it. There are actually 28 bids. Do you keep your old cell phones, Erica? I, I do. do. I don't know why I do. I have do. a whole bunch of old cell phones that are probably worth nothing <laughs> at this point. They, I know. They aren't we got we got worth they're worth nothing and somebody's paying yeah. 39k for that. Goodness. We messed up again, Erica. We certainly did.